Hey, good morning. It's Dr. Bill Williams in Suwannee, Georgia. You know, Hurricane Delta just passed over us. Yesterday was floods in Atlanta. We had dams that were about to break. We had standing water in the creeks. It was a different type of a day from our normal. Brings to mind something that I've been thinking about for a while. The ark on passive. The ark on passive. You know, the story of Noah's Ark is well known. The state of the world was such that there was evil in the world. There was strife everywhere, a lot of unbelievers. And um, God said to Noah, I want you to build an ark. He gave him a vision, gave him a dream. He said, act on this vision. He said, I want you to build an ark because the flood's coming, and I want to save your family. I want to save humanity on the earth and all the animals in it. And so I'm kind of linking that to today, the age of Ash, Mufara, the age that we live in. We call that the age of artificial intelligence earlier. Today, like in the days of Noah, the giants roamed the earth. And they recently unearthed a skull that was like this big from back in antiquity. So giants did at one time walk the earth. And what we're talking about now is tech giants stalking the earth. You know, they're the people who are the tyrants of this world. They rule with an iron fist. They make our products expensive so that 3% of the people that own the tech giant companies win. 97% the rest of us, we basically lose in the game of um, business. We don't have the ability to have a leg up. 97% of us. And so it's not only that. We've got the COVID-19 going on. We've got job losses. We've got poverty and hunger still. Everything is just not perfect on earth. And so um, Ash got a vision, a new vision of how business could run, of how society could come together as a team and support one another. And so I liken the vision that Ash got to the vision that Noah got. And um, of course, the vision was to build the ark, the ark of on passive for Ash to put together a system of 40 different platforms. That's just the beginning. It's going to go on for more than that, of course. But 40 systems. Back in the day of Noah, it was 40 days of rain. I don't know why 40 systems is meaningful, but, you know, if you like numbers, they kind of match up. So, ark is built... In Ash is building the ark of on passive. Noah was building the ark to put the animals in. There were a lot of people scoffing at the idea when Noah told them about this idea on a dry plain with no water anywhere nearby. He was building this giant ark. Well, a lot of people scoffed at Ash Mephara too as he was building this giant consortium of products called on passive. The scoffers were the unbelievers of the world. They were the evil ones back in the day, in Noah's day. In today's world, uh, people just don't believe because they've, they're have they jaded. They've, they've been there. They've failed before because people have taken advantage of them. And they just don't believe when a good thing comes that sounds too good to be true. That's the number one thing we hear when people are being uh, shared this information. It's too good to be true. I cannot believe it, so I won't believe it. Well, that's what a scoffer is, somebody who doesn't believe. But there's a family that does believe. You know, Noah's family believed in the vision. They believed in God. They believed that God speaks to people, that you can trust God. And so people believe in Ash because they see his vision. They hear his heart. You know, you, you can go online and find things about people that aren't true. But if you listen to their heart, you know what's true. So if your intuition tells you the truth, you listen. And so the family believed in both instances. They saw the vision. And for Ash, there's the uh, introduction to come aboard. The founders are the family. The developers are the family. The team in India are the family. So today, after two years of work, there's 213 countries that are among the membership of the founders that are joining our, the ARC that Ash is
this building. And then there was originally only going to be one system, one marketing system. But he kind of changed it over time, and evolution occurred in his thought. And it was one reason was because the family saw the wisdom of increasing the number of things available. And so the family had a lot to do with the vision growing and becoming more. So it became a business system, a complete digital business system, all digital, all automated, all the traffic being sent to the business. And so just like in Noah's day, the instructions were given, the family built it, and the range became evident. The clouds formed in the horizon. People were looking her up, and they were still skeptical. They thought the rains would end, just like they usually do in a couple of hours. But the rains kept coming. And in on passive, the rains have started. The rains have started, and people are starting to look around. And we're approaching the soft launch. And because it's the soft launch, that means that the doors will soon close. We've got another couple of months before the full launch to the public. It will launch in 2020, so this is now the middle of October. That means that we don't have that long before 2020 is over. The launch will happen in 2020. We're here. And so, just like the art, we're on a journey. The doors are closing soon. Now, when the launch goes public, that's when the doors are closed to being a founder. When we're on the journey, we're going to be on the ocean, the ocean of on passive for a period of time and then we go to full launch. Right now we might send the doves out looking for dry land. We might wait for them to bring back an olive branch to show that dry land has been found because when we finally find the land that's when we know we've landed and that's when Catmo starts. When the ark hit land it signified that they were on safe ground, that the rains were subsiding, the waters were going down, and that the promise had been kept. God gave them a rainbow to, as a sign of a promise that he would never destroy them with water again. In the same way, Ash has given us a sign. A unicorn company has been founded because it will produce enough wealth It'll be a dynasty building wealth company. The promise is, if you're in it, you will win it. So, Ash has given us his promise. Ash has shown us how he has built the ark. He's invited us onto the ark. And we're sailing across the water, waiting for the day where now we can disembark on that dry land. We're all waiting for the dove to come back with the olive branch. We're all waiting for that day for the soft launch to begin, for the final launch to the public to begin, and then in just a few days from now, a few months from now, we'll be walking on dry land. This is Dr. Bill Williams, the story of the Arc on Passive.